5. A study of the rate of the reaction represented as 2A yields B gave the following data. Beautiful. Now letter C. It says use the rates found in part A and B to de determine the average rate of formation of B between 0 and 10 seconds and the instantaneous rate of formation of B at 15 seconds. Okay. So down here, I, I put down the answers to part A and B. So in A, we found out the average rate of disappearance of A between the 10 and 20 seconds, which was the 0.375 molarity per second. And then for part B, we found out the instantaneous rate of disappearance of A at 15 seconds, which was 0 0.028. Now, if you have any questions as to how these values came about, you could always go back to those parts uh, in the channel. They're in the playlist if you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend. It just gives all these uh, videos, you know, purpose and meaning <laughs> and kind of like a, a life to them, right? And it just keep, makes it easier for you to find the videos. So anyway, that's my suggestion. But anyway, let's find out the average rate of formation of B. Now in part A and B, we found out everything that was going on with compound or substance A. In this question, we have to find out what's going on with B. So in essence, we found out a rate of A, pay no mind to disappearance, that's just giving context, right? If we look at the balanced equation, 2A yields B, A is on the reactant side. So of course, this is going to be dropping right? And by context, this means that it's going to be disappearing. And as A is disappearing, right, B is going to be going up because B is going to be appearing. So you could call it a rate of appearance um, or you could call it rate of formation. It's the same exact thing. But now we want to go from the rate of A to a rate of B. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, I'll say that over here, yeah. So we want to go from a rate of A to a rate of B. It does not matter whether one is a formation and one is a disappearance or an appearance. It just matters that we're using rate to rate. And you can go from a rate of one substance to a rate of another substance just as, as long as they're in the same balance equation. Do you know how we're going to do it? It's kind of an easy way because we've done this before, specifically with moles. If we had a mole of A and we wanted to go to moles of B and they were in the same balance equation, what would we do? Yeah, we used the mole ratios. And keep in mind that the mole ratios, those are the coefficients. So all we have to do is just use those coefficients to go from, in this case, A to B. So let's find the average rate of formation of B between um, the, so maybe I'll put this over here. And now let's do it for the 0 0.00 seconds to the 10 seconds. So we're going to find that average rate of formation of B between the 0 and 10 seconds. So we start with what we're given. We know that the rate of disappearance of A was 0.375. So 0.375. And you can put the units, but when I start doing, uh, actually we'll put the units. Molarity per second, and it's of A. Now just use those mole ratios, right? Times by the ratio. And in this case, all you have to do is just drop down the substance. You don't have to drop down the units and put who you want at the end. In this case, we want B. These are your mole ratios. Use those coefficients. We have two A's for every one B. So where the A is, I'm going to put A's coefficient, which is two. And on the top, I only had one B. The A's cancel out, and now you have molarity per second of B. So you have a rate of B. Now the reason why we can do this is, remember, inside a molarity, there are mole units. So we can secretly change the moles by doing the mole ratios because there is a unit mole in the molarity. So 
if it's fair game and it's easy to do, I'm doing it. So point zero three seven five. I don't know why I kept saying point three seven five. It's point zero three seventy five, and divided by two, and we get this answer point zero one eight seven five. So let's write that down for sig fig purposes. Maybe we'll say that this is zero point one eight eight. Yeah, point one eight eight, and now that's just molarity per second of B. So this just means that as A is disappearing at a rate of 0.375 molarity per second, B is appearing at a rate of 0.188 molarity per second. And now we just have to do the same thing for the other one, for the instantaneous rate. However, if you already have a rate, doesn't matter whether it's instantaneous or average, you're just gonna go from rate to rate, use the mole ratio. So. This one, we're just going to do at 15 seconds. This is the instantaneous rate, but same exact idea. The disappearance of A at 15 was 0 0.028 molarity per second of A. We don't want A anymore. We're going to times by the ratio. We're going to throw A down at the bottom. We're going to put B on the top, and we're going to use those mole ratios. How easy is that? So we have two A's for every one B. It's the same exact idea, just divide by two. So 0 0.028 divided by two, and there it is, 0 0.014 molarity per second of B. And that would be the instantaneous rate of B at the 15 seconds. Okay, what'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. Um, thank you so much for your kind comments in the comment section. I really try to get back to you as much as I can, um, you know, in my free time. So thank you so much for supporting us and for using the channel. We really love to see you guys thrive in your chem classes. We also got physics and math videos on the channel. So check the channel out. Um, much more subjects in the future coming your way. So hang tight. Always check back with us and I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Be well and have a great day. Bye-bye.